Hello everyone, welcome back to our online classroom. Today, I will discuss to you all about operations on integers. So, let us start with addition of integers. Remember that in adding two numbers or integers, we need to follow these two rules. Rule number one, same sign, add. That is equal to the sign of the two number. For rule number two, unlike sign, subtract. That is equal to the sign of the biggest number. So example, for rule number 1, 17 plus 23. Since the two integers have the same sign, we need to add then copy the sign of the two numbers which is positive. That's why we have positive 40 as our answer here. For letter B, negative 3 plus negative 4. Since the two integers have the same sign, we need to add then copy the sign of the two numbers which is negative. That's why we have negative 7 as our answer here. Next, for rule number 2, 17 plus negative 3. Since the two integers have different sign, we need to subtract the two numbers then copy the sign of the biggest number. The biggest number is 17 at ang sign niya ay positive. Kaya yun yung susundin natin. Now, ang answer natin dito ay positive 14. For letter B, negative 25 plus 5. Since the two numbers or the two integers have different sign, we need to subtract the two numbers, then copy the sign of the biggest number. The biggest number is 25. At ang sign niya ay negative. Kaya yun yung susundin natin. Now, ang answer natin dito ay negative 20. Okay, kung nahihirapan kayong sundan itong rules na to, meron akong i-discuss na isang method at ito yung nag-work sa akin since first year, first year high school ako. Tandaan lang, sa isang tindahan or canteen, utang means negative, positive means pera. For example, negative 3 plus negative 4. Meron kang 3 pesos na utang sa isang tindahan at Nagutang ka ulit ng 4 pesos, so ilan na yung utang mo? So that is negative 7. Next, 17 plus negative 3. Alam natin ang 17 is positive, so ibig sabihin nun, pera mo yon. Tapos may utang ka doon sa isang kan sa kantin, example na 3 pesos, kung babayaran mo yung utang mo na yon, ilan na lang pera mo? So that is positive 14. So yun lang, yun lang siya kadali. Then, i-repeat mo lang siya para nagpagsagot ka minsan ng... Uh, mag-add ng integers, isipin mo lang na parang nasa kanting ka. Okay. Next, let's proceed to subtraction of integers. Take note, change the operation na subtraction into addition. Then, change the sign of the subtrahend. Okay. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano yan siya tinichange. Okay. Una, sabi niya, change to natin yung operation na subtraction into addition. Kaya ito yung operation maging, positive, magiging plus na yan siya. Next, sabi niya, i-change daw natin yung sign ng subtrahend. So, ito yung subtrahend natin. Hindi na to pinapalitan yung negative 9. Ito, niya lang, ito lang yung pinapalitan natin yung subtrahend. So, kung negative, magiging positive. Next, proceed tayo doon sa rule ng uh, mag-add ng integers. So, isipin natin na sa isang kantin tayo, negative means utang, positive means pera. Kung may utang tayo na negative 9 sa isang kantin, kung may 5 pesos tayo na pera, ilan na lang utang natin? So, that is negative 4. Next, 4 minus 9. So, dito, ang operation natin is minus, magiging plus yan. Ano ang sign ng 9 dito? Kung walang nakalagay, understood na positive yung sign na dyan. I-change natin yung positive na yan into negative. Yan. Kasi kung ang pagkakaiba nila, maglalagay ako dyan ng parenthesis para mapakita lang natin na negative talaga yung sign ng 5 dito. Well, hindi ko na nilalagay ng parenthesis kasi positive yung 9 dito na operation. Kaya magiging negative yan siya. So ngayon, 4 plus negative 9 na yung nandito. Meron tayong 9 pesos na utang sa kantin. Kung may 4 pesos tayo, ilan na lang yung utang natin. So, meron pa tayong utang na 5 pesos. So, ganun lang yung subtraction of integers. Okay, next is the multiplication and division of integers. Dito, madali lang siya. It's because dalawa lang yung tatandaan natin. 
sa multiplication and division. Ang rule niya lang dito, kapag magkaparehan ng sign, positive yung sagot. Kapag hindi naman magkaparehan ng sign, negative ang sagot. For example, if we have negative 6 times negative 9, magkapareha sila ng sign, kaya magiging positive ang sagot. Ang kailangan ng dito, marunong ka dapat magmultiply at magdivide. Next, so negative 6 times negative 9 kaya nagiging positive 54. Next, 12 times 12 kasi may pareha sila ng sign na positive kaya magiging positive 144 ang sagot. Next, negative 22 times positive 2 magiging negative 44 siya kasi hindi sila magkaparehan ng sign. Kung sa division naman, if meron tayong negative 12 divided by 4 that is negative 3 kasi hindi sila magkaparehan ng sign. So, kung negative 12 divided by uh, negative 4, magiging positive 3 ang sagot. So, yun lang yung dapat tandaan natin sa multiplication tsaka sa division. So, I hope marami kayong natutunan dito ngayon. God bless everyone.